Why is that like the Gruber song? Hey gamers, welcome back to my gaming channel, Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater. I'm your host, Mickey. Thanks for tuning in again. We're uh, back in the saddle with uh, Ben Jordan, Paranormal Investigator, case number eight. Relics of the past. Continuing our adventure, Ben Jordan and Professor Quinta Joan are in on the train, and Professor Jones is retelling a story of his experience with his grandfather, um, grandfather, Grandpa jo uh, uh, Jordan, in Romania. So the adventure is already in, already in progress. So sit back, relax, enjoy as we continue our adventures. Uh, of ben Jordan. Paranormal Investigator, case number eight. That looks in the past, we're in Romania. Here we go. Let's talk to, uh, let's talk to Percy. This has certainly turned out to be an interesting visit, eh, Purse? Indeed, it has. Indeed. Ask some questions. Hey, Purse, let's have a bull session. Yes, have a bull session. Yes, Arthur. Tell me about yourself. How are you holding up, old boy? Rather well, thank you for asking. Yeah. Just was strangled by a headless vampire. Any suggestions regarding our next move? Searching this trellis fellow's house may be dangerous, but necessary. Headless Vampire. Seems the Headless Vampire is the real McCoy after all. It is quite remarkable. Who would have guessed? Not me, that's for sure. That's Better all. get a wiggle on. Right. right let's look at places. It's the front door of the trellis house. Oddly enough, it doesn't seem to have a handle. It's a safe. Try to open the door. You knock on the door, but get no answer. <coughs> Ask some advice from Percy. Hey, Percy, let's have a bull session. <coughs> yes, Arthur? Advice. Any suggestions regarding our next move? Searching this trellis fellow's house may be dangerous, but necessary. Better get a wiggle on. Right. Alright, what else can I look at? Oh, brick. There appears to be a brick on the ground. It probably came from the wall. Let's pick it up. You pick up the brick. Okay, what are we gonna do with the brick? It's a medium-sized stone brick, which used to be in, in a wall. Stamina. The brick feels somewhat heavy in your hands. I wonder. No. Door. Does it work? Window. These windows are too are too high. Even if you manage to hit one of them, you can't reach them to climb through. With this one. Break this one. Arthur, what are you doing? What are you doing? Smashing the window with this brick so I can get inside. Is that really a good idea? I don't think we should draw any unwanted attention to ourselves. That's right. If it well. brings us a step closer to finding out why we almost got bumped off at the cemetery, it's a risk I'm willing to take. Ooh. Did it. Say this as brick. PQJ brick. Broken window. All right, I'm going in. Are you sure you'll be able to fit through there? Because I certainly won't. Hmm. You're right. Well, it's probably better if you stay out here and keep watch. I'll just give you a shout if I need anything. Do be careful, Arthur. Indeed. Do be careful. Helmet. Ah, oh, what's this? A helmet from a, an old suit of armor rests in, the, in an alcove on the wall. A painting of a little girl hangs over the fireplace. Her facial expression frightens you. Poker. A poker for the fireplace is stored in the small brass stand. The door leads further into the house. 
The fireplace appears to have been bricked up. How odd. Pick up that poker. Figure it might come in handy you take the fireplace poker. Alright. We'll save this as Trellis. what appears to be a small latch inside the helmet. You can't quite reach inside with your fingers. Okay. I uh, you know what we'll do. We'll do. <laughs> Take our... It's a fireplace poker for stroking fires. Or something else, maybe. The end of the poker is pointed, leaving you with a dull pain in the tip of your finger. Right. Let's do this. Take the fire poker the latch. The thin point of the poker reaches easily inside the helmet. You manage to unhook the latch, which makes a faint clicking noise. Ah, secret passages. No uh, supernatural paranormal movie would be without secret passages. Oh, ho! A secret opening was hidden behind the bricks. Save as Trella's house. Interesting, there's a secret opening which was hidden in the old fireplace. The secret air opening. Let's go back outside. Let's talk. The roof of which you entered is the only source of light in this room. Alright, let's go back in. Examine this place. Fellow's house. There's a spooky portrait. This one of a young, pale young lady hangs to the wall. You better not mess with that. And the lip of him. Calandrium holds a single lit candle. That means someone was in this room recently. You better not risk putting out the candle. The boost room is creepy enough with the source of life. light. Light. Barrel. There's a large barrel stored here. It looks large enough to hold a person. Oh, I, uh, I wonder who could be in there. Maybe? The barrel's too heavy to move, and you can't look inside while the top is on. Well, let's pry it open. That doesn't seem to work. Oh, yeah, that works. Pry open the lid. You stick the pointed edge of the fireplace poker under the lid and manage to pry it off. Jeepers, creepers! What's in there? I had a feeling this trellis fellow was up to something, but I didn't think it was this severe. Shit. What's in it? Barrel's open, revealing its unpleasant contents. Yikes. Save. You take a look inside the barrel. Oh my god, it's a headless woman. The body of a woman is stored in the barrel. Her rotting flesh is a sickly green color, and her head has been removed. This must be the remains of the headless vampire. Bum bum bum. No desire to handle the body. Let's move on, okay? Alright. Let's get a move on. It's opening. Let's talk to, uh... Do I want to go to the door? The door is locked. Let's go inside, quickly. You definitely climb back out the window, careful to avoid any broken glass. Let's talk to uh, Mr. Percy. Hey, Purse, let's have a bull session. All right. Yes, Arthur. 
Body and barrel. This trellis character is more of a fiend than we first thought. Oof. He's got a secret room in the house where he keeps a headless woman's body in a barrel. Do you suppose they're the remains of the Corsa woman? It would be too much of a coincidence for it not to be. Well then, perhaps we can put an end to the menace of the vampire. Didn't that fellow at the inn mention something could be done with the body to kill the vampire? Yes, I'm pretty sure he did. Good thinking. Yeah. Uh, advice. Any suggestions regarding our next move? Searching this trellis fellow's house may be dangerous, but necessary. Better get a wiggle on. Right. Alright, well what are we supposed to do with his body? I'm going back in. Keep a lookout. Be careful, Arthur. Indeed. That's this vampire. Fire poker on the barrel. What can I do? What I do, what I do, what I do. Uh... the body. Having some respect for the dead, stamming the body with a fire poke this but would be very rude. I do recall earlier uh, one of the Romanians uh, villagers mentioned that to destroy the headless uh, vampire, we take the glass, spoken glass, and put it on the neck of the vampire's body. You scoop up a few pieces of broken glass and carefully place them in your pocket. Carrying several shards of broken glass from a window. Be very, very careful with these in your fans. Indeed, especially if you're a guy. Glass is very sharp. Very sharp. I'm going back in. Keep a lookout. Be careful, Arthur. Take a look inside the barrel. Let's put the uh, broken glasses on the severed neck. We place the, sh the glass shards inside the neck, lining the inside of the body with the sharp pieces. Okay, mission accomplished. Well, that should take care of this town's vampire problem. Okay. Who the hell is this? Oh, uh, hello there. Who are you? What are you doing in here? The name's Arthur Jordan, and... Ah, uh, flimsy excuse. Tell the truth. Confront about body. I think the more important question here is what that body is doing in the what barrel. What body's doing in the barrel? Perhaps it is, but I feel it is more important to first know why you are in my house. I'm looking for Soren Trellis. 
In that case, you need not look any further. The people in this town know me as Sorin Trelis, but you may address me by my proper name. Zorthras. Zorthras. You're, you're pale as a ghost. Shit. What are you? Kind of you to ask. Yeah. I am Mr. Goy. What? I believe you would refer to it as a vampire warlock. Warlock. Stragoli. You say you're a vampire warlock? What does that even mean? It's very simple. Yeah. I bite people and drain them of their blood. And I have magical powers. Yeah. Baloney. I can assure you, I am quite serious. English. How is it that you speak English so well? That is a long story. Yeah. Then give me the short version. Very well. I spent several years living in your country in a state called Pennsylvania. If a Strigoi lives ten years in a country where another language is spoken, he can become human again. All that is required is a virgin sacrifice. I had gathered a loyal group of followers and was about to complete the sacrificial ritual, but one of my most trusted members revealed himself to be a traitor and ruined everything. Ugh. I barely managed to escape and came back here to my homeland to wait for another opportunity. Headless Vampire. You've got something to do with all this headless vampire hooey, don't you? That is correct. It was I who turned young Miss Corsa into what she is today. You heartless chump. How could you do that to the poor girl? How could I do that to her? I was not the one who sealed her in that barrel, leaving her to die. She kicked her head off trying to escape, which would have killed her if I had not intervened. Now she enjoys the gift of eternal life. Floating around as a head attached to a bunch of body parts. Yeah, I'm sure she thanks you every day for that. Okay, enough beating gums. You need to answer for your crimes. Yeah. I don't think you quite comprehend the situation. You are trespassing in my house, yeah. hidden away in my secret room, secret. alone. And I have not had a taste of fresh blood for a very long time. Yes. Roxandra has been a loyal servant for years, but I think it's time for a new follower. Don't try anything funny now. Oh, not to worry. This is quite serious. Oh! Ouch. Hey! Bit Hold me. still, you wretch! Can I use something? Use the uh, fireplace poker. Boom! Hey -o. Boink! Take ah. that! Asshole. Sorry, Zorthurus. You won't be getting any of my blood today. Perhaps not. But you can be sure I will not rest until I do. Mark my words, Arthur Jordan. I will have okay. your blood, even if it takes generations. Generations. Back. Arthur came back out of the house and told me what had happened. We informed the townspeople oh, wow. of the situation and went on our way the next morning. Wow, that's amazing. So that's why I was picked to be the sacrifice back in Smellholm? Exactly. There's still a few questions I have about all this. Of course. I think now is a suitable time to answer them. But I have to take a quick bathroom break first. Very well. I'll be here when you return. Head to the bathroom, folks. Sign says toilet. We'll save our break. We'll save a game with. Uh, we'll save it as. What's it called again? Toilet. Take a little break, gamers, and thank you for what we're 59 out of 100. We're doing pretty well for our score. 
Gamers, thank you for watching me play a Ben Jordan case number eight, Relics of the Past. I hope you enjoyed our little adventure, a little flashback to uh, 1920s Romania. We've made some progress so far, so we'll continue our adventure in the toilet of the French petty uh, bound train. I would appreciate if you would like this video, add it to your favorites, leave comments below. Share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Google Plus, all those social media websites that you use. They basically is a subscribe to my gaming channel to get the latest updates on my videos I'll be able to avoid doing. And don't forget to ring my bell to be notified. Check out the links below. And uh, if you want to uh, help me with my Patreon, check it out. I do uh, uh, YouTube uh, shoutouts at the end of the video. Uh, for those who are $10 patrons, for those who want to be a $25 patron, I will give you a perk of a free, not a free, a $25, 30-second commercial at the beginning, middle, or end of my videos. Check out the links below. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome week. Stay frosty, gamers. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye. You're breaking it down, it falls to the ground, cause I have